entitled to. Today is the day that they will formally and publicly make their promises to one another. Although this is indeed a high point, marriage is a journey and not a destination. Marriage is more than any one single event or promise. It is a series of decisions that have been made and will continue to be made over and over every day. They show each other their care and concern for the one who made love most in the world. Marriage is a promise that is renewed daily through a couple's actions and a responsibility taken on in the spirit of faith and hope and love that brings comfort, times of sadness, and heightens our greatest joy. Cynthia and Carl, may the promises that you make this day live always in your hearts and in your home so that all which you share now deepen and grow through the years, leading you through a lifetime of happiness. A wedding is more than a celebration of the love which lives in Cynthia and Carol's hearts today. It reaches into the future and proclaims their intentions for that which tomorrow shall hold. A couple who weds are joined not only by the mutual affection and love they share, but also by their hopes, dreams, and by their promises of what will be. The promises and vows they make this day shall guide them in their common future. I will ask you both now if you are prepared to make these promises. Cynthia, have you come here today of your own free will to take Carl Q to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners sharing all that life has to offer? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him all the days of your life? Carl, have you come here today of your own free will to take Cynthia Wong to be your wife, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that life has to offer? Yes, I do. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her all the days of your life? I will. And Cynthia and Carl would like to thank you all for being here with them today and for supporting them through everything that has taken to make this day a reality. They know that you're taking the time and making the journey to a considerable effort for a good many of you, and they wanted you to all know the deep appreciation and gratitude that they feel in their hearts for this. All of you are the most important and have been the most influential people in their lives. All of the time and conversations that you have had with Cynthia and Carl, even before they met, have helped to make them who they needed to be first, to find themselves and then find each other. You have shared in their best and their worst days, and you are an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays, their today, and all of their tomorrows. For all of you are among the greatest gifts that life has given them. All of you are those they can call family and friends. When you accepted Cynthia and Carol's invitation to join them here today, you accepted also a very special responsibility and role in their lives. By asking you to bear witness to all that is in their hearts, they share with you precious memories and a knowledge of why and how all is so right for them. These insights are a tool that may later be called upon in times when good counsel is needed. So I must now ask all of you, their friends and family, do you promise that you will do everything in your power to support them in their union, that you will encourage them always to seek the comfort and strength of their togetherness through the storms and stress that life will bring? Will you use them? Will you use what you have heard and seen here today to remind them that the beauty and joy they share this day was meant to last a lifetime? Your response? We, we do. do. We do. We do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia and Carl, today is the public affirmation and acknowledgement of all that you are to each other. Seemingly, your relationship will be as it has always been, yet there is a power in the spoken word. May that power bring you all the warmth and closeness closeness, security and comfort, joy and happiness that this world has to offer. May I have the rings, please?
<laughs> the ring finger of the left hand, the side of the body that holds the heart, has been used for the wedding band because for centuries people believed that there was a vein that ran directly from that finger to the heart. They also believed that the words spoken during the placing of the wedding band, symbol of perfection, completion, and eternity, would resonate over and over again, like the circumference of the band itself, through to the heart and soul, both giver and the receiver of that most monumental of all promises, the promise of a lifetime as husband and wife. Carl, do you take Cynthia Wong to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you vow to love her and care for her <laughs> for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you accept her with all her faults and strengths and offer yourself to her with all of your own faults and strengths? I do. Do you promise to help her when she needs help? Yes. <laughs> and to turn to her when you need help? <laughs> do you promise to be faithful and loving companion and to always put the promises you make this day above all else? I do. Will you now place the ring on your beloved's finger and repeat after me? Oh. I, Carl, I, Carl, take you, Cynthia, take me, Cynthia. to be my wife. Be my wife. I will love you, I will love you and, honor you, and honor you, respect and cherish you, respect and cherish you all, the days of my life. <laughs> all the days of my life. Cynthia, do you take Carl Q to be your lawfully wedded husband? <laughs> do you vow to love him and care for him for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept him with all of his faults and strengths and offer yourself to him with all of your own faults and strengths? Absolutely. <laughs> do you promise to help him when he needs help and to turn to him when you need help? <laughs> do you promise to be faithful and loving companion and to always put the promises you make this day above all else? Will you now place the ring on your beloved's finger and repeat after me? I, Cynthia. I, Cynthia. Take you, Carl. Take you, Carl. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The vows you have just taken, pledging love, mean far more than mere words can ever can. May your gentle spirit move in you. May your years fulfill the beauty of the feelings expressed today, and may you always put these vows above the things that make life smaller. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may